another nice day in the Philippines and it was a cloudy day earlier not right now not so much so it's a good thing I wore this my armor for the Sun because I'd rather be hot than have the Sun piercing down on my skin that shit just hurts anyways on the way to work I will be doing a high intensity interval training type of workout today so kind of like the Under Armour event thing I'm trying to pass up these little kids they keep getting in my way so yeah I'm gonna do like a Under Armour kind of thing but more watered down probably 20 seconds on 10 seconds off so 20 seconds I'll be doing exercises then 10 second rest and just repeat the process okay so what else is on the agenda today Jethro and Lizelle are coming later they will be sleeping over at the apartment tonight because those two lovebirds have a little getaway trip tomorrow and the airport's near our place so it's convenient for them and yeah so it's gonna be a good day I'm about to get some lunch for later I'm not sure where maybe a convenience store get some kind of rice meal and yeah gonna enjoy this workout Okay, sorry. Guys, just got out of work, waiting for Jethro and Lizelle to get here, but they're running late. So, we, me and Ivy are gonna go eat somewhere, kill some time. New smoky cheeseburger, guys. It's so small, look at my hand. So my hand, it's the burger. And burger. So freaking small. Better be tasty. Good morning to you all. So a recap on what happened last night. Got out of work 9 p.m. on the dot. Me and Ivy had to kill some time. So we go eat out at Mickey D's. So we're waiting for Jethro and Lizelle. We eat. We wait, we eat some more. So I got out at nine and Jethro and Lizelle arrive at midnight. So I'm sleepy still. Damn you Jethro, why you do this? Why? Nah, it's okay, it's all good. Uh, let's see. So Jethro and Lizelle have a flight tomorrow. They're going to one of Philippines top tourist spots, definitely Palawan. Four days, three nights. So I hope they enjoy. Me and Ivy wish to go there one day. We gotta save up. But yeah, so that's why I didn't get any footage last night of their arrival. Because one, they came really late and I was tired. Two, my phone was about to be like, it was like at a, five six percent battery left so it was about to die and three I was just tired I didn't feel like um, taping it but yeah they're I think they left I think their flights at 11 so you guys remember this place you guys know where I'm at I'm back in Eastwood why because today the first day of my fitness instructor course so I'm taking this just to get more credits um, it's on every Sunday so it is on my days off but it's not too bad because it's only a few hours not that bad uh, 
would have been bad if it was like a whole day thing. So I would have spent my days off with Ivy. Barely see each other in the weekdays. So let's see. Today's class starts at 9 p.m. So I left the house at 7.20. And it's like 8.20 right now. I woke up at 7. So went to sleep at 1 something last night in the morning. Woke up at 7. So not even 6 hours of sleep. My body's not liking it. It's not used to it. It's rejecting my my activity level for today. What I'm doing. So I barely had time for breakfast. I just had a quick shower. My breakfast was a serving of pre-workout <laughs> and protein shake. It's my breakfast. It's in a rush. Because wanted to make it on time here. I don't like being late. Very nitpicky when it comes to coming on time. I'm rarely late. Anyways, agenda for today. After class, I will meet up with Ivy Market Market. We've got to do some groceries. Might catch a movie. And I want to get a haircut again this week. It's been two weeks already. I usually get a haircut every two weeks. I don't like letting it get messy. Woo! All right. Should be fun. Hope it's fun. Signing out. All right, guys. At the mall market. So I got out. Uh, first day of class. To be honest. It was pretty boring just because the stuff that they were teaching were things that I already knew so and plus I was really sleepy trying to stay awake for those three hours it's only three hours not so bad super hot today meeting up with Ivy here and we'll probably go eat maybe Maybe we uh, catch a movie, groceries, the huge. It's Ivy guys, I'm here with Ivy. I'm gonna eat at this place. I heard a lot of good stuff about it. The Halal Guys. Okay. So, I'll show you what we ordered in a bit. Mmm, lunchtime. Looks great. Got Starbucks. I got the java chip frap. Ivy got coffee jelly. And that's what I'm excited about. Okay, let's open this baby up. It's really windy up here. Check out the view. So, I got the large chicken and falafel that looks great so this is all over rice so not sure. i think this is the falafel I'm not sure we have veggies chicken some kind of pita bread more veggies okay and what you're supposed to do is put white sauce first barbecue sauce and you mix it all up so I'll show you guys what it'll look like after I mix it up all right so this is what it looks like after the sauce is on pre-mixed still have to mix it all right guys not the best at mixing but this is my finished product I'm gonna dive in have my drink and I got my vape Alright guys, me and Ivy are at the apartment, didn't get to watch a movie because I forgot to bring the loyalty card, so 
uh, we wouldn't have gotten the points. That would have just been a waste. So we decided to skip the movies, went straight to the supermarket, did groceries, and now we are back home having a couple of brewskis and chilling. Thumbs up to How I Met Your Mother, one of the best shows on planet Earth. All right, this is gonna be our night. It's about 10 a.m. in the morning, guys. So Ivy got me this watch. Ivy got me this watch yesterday because she knows that I needed a watch. So, also has a timer or a stopwatch, which is convenient for my clients. So, and it's red and black, matches. On the way to the barber shop because wasn't able to get a haircut yesterday. So I will be getting a haircut now. And probably do a couple more things before work today. It's a workout day, legs, get it. At the barber shop or the salon. About to get my hair cut. It's pretty, pretty long inside. Anyways, I noticed that my watch, the day and the date is off. So I gotta fix that. <laughs> Just noticed. Hi guys, haircut. Check. On the way. Market, market. Gotta buy some protein. I think this is the first time I've seen them turn the fountain on. Anyways, I... Focus. Fixed my watch. Now it says Monday, not Sunday. And go into the mall. And supplements. Hello. Probably go back to Pro Matrix. Yeah. Pro Matrix. It's the new muscle farm. No, that's not the new muscle farm. That's the new muscle farm. Diesel. Uh, isolates and concentrates. I'm gonna try it. But I will probably stick with this one going back to the chocolate flavor. Roll Matrix. It is a blend. So it has um, casine. It has a uh, Isolate different filtered versions. <laughs> Alright guys, getting some pre-workout. Oh, the white hat sounds good. But I'll just stick with my original idea. Such a hot day. Hi, can I get a glazed donut? Alright, is it for you or to go? To go. Alright. You're getting your glazed donut. So, just for a while, I'll just get you one. Alright, Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Got my donut. Get all that glazy happiness. Mmm. It's pre workout done good. So mad at myself right now for 
forgot to bring the tripod or not the tripod the monopod so I don't know if I can get some footage <sighs> all right yeah I'm not gonna be able to get any footage so I'll just go ahead and discuss some things give some tips so more on um, acclimating for working up to your working sets uh, what I like to do is first I'll do really low weight for 10 reps so in this case uh, leg press today going to be our bread and butter movement so I would do 10 reps without any weights just to warm up and then I would do 50% of my working weight so I'm doing a 5x5 five five today or uh, 370 pounds so 50% of 370 would be 185 mm. so after this 10 reps I would do 5 reps of 185 then I would do uh, 3 reps of my 75% working weight 1 rep of my 90% working weight then I jump into my uh, working set that makes sense Uh, another tip guys working with the leg press leg press is so versatile in terms of what muscle group you want to focus on or what area of the legs you want to hit more so by placing see if you can see it good placing your feet more on the middle will give you an even ground if you put your feet up here it'll work more of the glutes and hamstrings and if you place your feet down here it'll work more of the quadriceps okay so here will be a middle ground now the closer your feet are together the more it will work the lateral portion of the quadriceps so the outside portion the more you spread your feet the more it'll work the inside portion of your quadriceps okay so depending on what you want to target if you have any weaknesses uh, leg press is a great great machine to focus on another thing I like about this particular leg press machine is that even though you don't have 2.5s you can still get uh, five pounds on just by putting five pounds on one side and it's still evenly distributed just because it's a lever type of machine so 185 50% of my working weight five reps all right next part of the acclimation sets uh, I have 645s on so that's 270 pounds and 75% of 370 is about 277 so throw on the 5 and boom 275 close enough go for 3 reps alright so last part 90% of my working weight is around 333 pounds or something like that but so I'm throwing on these these quarters okay that will get me at three what is this 50 270 320 yeah that's 320 and another five will get me at 330 so close enough again one rep 330 and there you go so that's how I acclimate before uh, starting off my working sets especially my main movements so now I'm going to put 370 on and do my 5x5 five five. all right 370 pounds going for five reps I have 845 845s and two five pounds on which gives me 370 I think yeah 360 370 yep 
All right, time to get to work. Right. Uh, when I'm pressing or squatting, I always try to keep my mindset on pushing up with either the bottom or the heels of your foot or the center rather than the top of your foot, the toe area. One of the best tips, advice I can give you guys is always put back your weights. Always. So, 5x5 five five was successful. So anytime I'm successful on a 5x5, five five, next time uh, this workout comes around, I bump up the weight. So, 370 now. Next time will be 375 if I'm successful, 380 and slowly work my way up to 400. So that's what I do with all my lifts. It's how I get stronger and with strength comes muscles and yeah. Alright, seated leg curl machine. Next movement for today. I uh, haven't tested out my 5 rep yet, I'm doing another 5x5. Five so I will be trying 90 pounds because my 10 rep was 70 pounds. So 90 pounds on this seated leg curl. Let's go see if I can do it while holding the... Hmm. Oh. Hip abductions next, five by five. Again, 80 pounds. Bitch workout. Okay, 80 pounds was fucking heavy. Felt like my hips were gonna break. Anyways, I'm gonna superset these abductions with adductions. And... Until I finish five sets. Not flexible at all, guys. Look at where... I don't know if you can see it. See that? It's only on the sixth notch. And it can go all the way up to the nine. That's how... That's how far I can stretch. Not that flexible. Oh god. I didn't even go all the way. One. Come on. Two. Next movement. Hip thrust or glute ham raises with 100 pounds. Fixed barbell. Tip on these guys, um, really important to pause right when you get to the top, that peak, where your body, where your glutes and your back align, you want to pause at that area, roughly for a second or two, before coming down, really contract the glutes. Ooh, okay, last movement for the day guys with the, is going to be straight legged deadlifts with dumbbells. So, last tip doing these guys your knees relative to space should be virtually 
in the same point. So what I mean by that, it's not moving around from place to place. So when you're bending over, you're basically doing a pelvic tilt. You're tilting your hips and um, your butt is moving backwards. Your knees will stay in the same place. So see if I could demonstrate it for you guys. So that's the right way. Knees don't move, butt goes out, uh, chest stays out, and you bend till you feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Your lower back does not bend or curve. Alright, this would be the wrong way to do it. So you don't want your knees moving forward. Me and Jomel is at Burger Avenue because they have a special promo today, 50% off on everything. So taking advantage of that, I got their biggest burger, the Ridiculous Burger. Crazy fries, drink, and took out three burgers. Couple for Ivy. All right guys, so before the gym closes, I'm doing some cardio because it is a cardio day for me. All right. And tomorrow is a big day for my brother. So Kevin, if you're watching, wish you luck. He's taking the US sport exams for physical therapy. I know he's gonna kill it. He's been ready for a while. Kevin, go beast mode, go ham on that. I'll see you soon, buddy.